Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stories at 10 Miles Per Hour. This is the oldest one so far because it, the origins of this story could date back to the 1950s. I just had some folks walking back. It was a very nice day, and they won't, probably had a nice trip to the market today. Uh, they certainly wouldn't understand. Well, maybe they do. We have YouTubers here. Uh, okay, so um, talking nice and slow so you understand, because you really got to pay attention with this one. Um, back in the possibly back as early as the 1950s, my father and my mother and my big brother uh, met up with this family, uh, most likely the church. Um, and they it was a family. There was a man, a lady, a boy, and a girl. And um, what happened to them was these folks they met um <clears throat> the 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 father their father uh got killed he was uh he could have been a truck driver but he might have been uh a uh musician it's most likely he was a musician and i don't know if he was with some other musicians and the the whole shebang the bus or whatever the tour bus or whatever they had uh got smashed in an auto accident or if it was just him uh himself they got killed but that's what happened so they lost their father now um later on the lady uh remarried and she married a man that was an alcoholic although but, well, on the upside, he was uh, a um, he kind of a rich alcoholic, or at least sort of. And um, I remember they had a house, and they had a swimming pool in the backyard and a beautiful flower garden or something like that. Um, but now, um, let me tell you... Uh, he was, uh, this guy was, uh, uh, apparently, uh, abusive to, to the other three members of the family, uh, the lady and the, her, uh, daughter and her son, and, um, as a result of that, the, the boy, uh, was constantly over at our house, because we lived in the same neighborhood, and he was best friends with my big brother. And so my father, I guess, mainly my father, had become a surrogate. And um, that makes us all surrogates. So when I've said in the past that there were f four siblings, uh, there was really five. So... Um, we would even go on vacations together. And, um, okay, so that it's very sad that, um, the, that tragic accident happened. So I'm told it was some kind of an auto accident, uh, that killed uh, the original father. Uh, but that, that then, uh, you know, they wound up with this alcoholic stepfather, um, and he, he was so, such a, uh, uh, drunkard that he, he would say, I was so, I'm told he would say things like this, uh, their mother might be cooking some lasagna or spaghetti, and he would say, he would be drunk as hell, and he would say, uh, has it got cheese on it, Mama? Has it got cheese on it, Mama? <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, it's just, uh, I think it was mostly just verbal abuse. And I, I don't know where the mother and daughter went when there was a bad scene 
to get away, but I know that the son would come hang out with us. So he was like a big brother as well. And um, now fast forward, years go by, um, the the boy, um, he, he had somewhere along the line learned to play drums and he, he must have had some memory of his father, his original father, because uh, he followed in the path, I think, in, in, of uh, the footsteps of musicianship. And he, uh, le- le- he learned how to play drums and was a great drummer. And um, now, uh, let's see. Uh, I do remember, uh, I think this may by, by now be up to the 1980s, and um, he would uh, still have access to that ha- original house with a swimming pool, and we went swimming one time, me and my little brother, and then he, um, he, he told us that story, and he played, they had a piano in the house, and he played some drums, and then he said, listen to this song. And he called so-and-so's song uh, named after his father and played a beautiful song he wrote on the piano. And um, yeah, you know, so I mean, that that just like any other uh, composition of music could very well have been a big uh, hit, pop hit, country hit, uh, you know, kind of a mellow, easy listening um, you know, hit, uh, but he just, I don't, the guy just didn't seem to, he, like me, hasn't, didn't make the connections, which is very difficult, and so that's the story, um, about, um, the, the surrogation of, uh, my, my father, so he, he did something good, and, uh, you know, eventually, I guess the alcoholic guy, I, I assume that he died, and the last time I saw his mother, uh, that lady, uh, was in 20, 2007, I think. <laughs> she had the audacity of just walking in uh, 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 into our house. Uh, my father was on his last legs, and uh, we were sitting by the, the fire, and... Um, <clears throat> we we got we were drinking buddies and um i just remember her just walking into the house and like to, having to take care of helping out uh the family uh, as we we all pulled each other we pulled them out of the bus uh, at least one of them out of the bus and um they were just all best friends and that's the I guess the educational aspect of it is that what you what you got to do is when you have a situation like that with a uh, rich alcoholic uh, person uh, being uh, abusive and all, uh, you just got to step in and pull people out from under the bus. So I uh, can't think of much else about that. Uh, I didn't know the daughter well at all, um, but I sure do remember the son, and I I did once remember, I remember the father, yes, he was drunk, and he's like, uh, somebody paid him a compliment about his flowers around the swimming pool, and uh, they, we were all just best of friends, but yeah, I just thought I would touch on that subject uh, and tell an old, old story to, uh, remember, uh, a, a true friend, and, uh, uh, I'll take, ta- <coughs> I'll take <coughs> surrogation and <coughs> surrogate into that, but, um, just a, another, uh, very old, um, story. So thanks for listening. Uh, don't forget, I uh, this channel won't uh, it will probably not make the cut 
uh, it's very unlikely because we only have until June something to get uh, 988 more of you subscribers. If you would like to subscribe, there may be a few more stories, but we're going to have to call it quits if it, we can't uh, qualify. Uh, like always helps, share, download, whatever, you know, if you have the time. Um, uh, I hope he, that you have enjoyed this story. I'm uh, sorry that we weren't rolling when we did this, but I just didn't feel like it. So you have a good evening. Take it easy. Bye.